In this demonstration we're going to look at implementing additional Active Directory sites. Reasons why we want to do this is maybe we have a part of the network separate by a slow link. Possibly a part of the network has enough users to warrant hosting domain controllers or other services in that location. We want to control service localization or we want to control replication between domain controllers. So what we've done here is we've just come onto our Active Directory domain controller. We're going to come to Tools and within Tools we're going to go to Active Directory Sites and Services. Within Active Directory Sites and Services, if we just expand our sites here, what we can see here is we have this site called Default First Site Name. Now, Default First Site Name isn't very descriptive, so what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to rename this one, and we're going to rename this one as London HQ. Now that we've done that, next thing we'll do is we'll create another site for our Toronto site. So if we right-click here, what we'll do is create yet another new site, this time we'll call this one Toronto. And what we're going to do here is we're going to associate that with the default IP site link and select OK. Just telling us here that it has been created and to finish the config, we need to ensure that it is linked to the other sites with site links as appropriate. It is. We don't have subnets yet, so we will create some subnets. And we do have a domain controller sitting in Toronto called Tor-DC1. So we'll select OK. Next thing we need to do here is we just need to create a couple of subnets to actually define our networking. So if we right click on subnets, we'll create a new subnet. The first one we're going to create here is going to be for 172.16.0.0 slash 24 and we're going to associate that with the London HQ. Then we'll create another subnet and we're going to make this one 172.16 dot one dot zero slash twenty four and we're going to associate that with Toronto. Now we've done that the next thing we need to do is we need to move the servers into their relevant site. So if we just have a look at London HQ, have a look at the servers, we can currently see we've got London DC1, so that's fine, but we also have Lon I have Toro DC1 as well. So we want to move that one. So we're going to move that server and we're going to move that to Toronto and select OK. So now if we expand this up a little bit, what we can now see is we have the two Active Directory domain controllers in their relevant site. That's the end of this demonstration of creating Active Directory sites. Thank you.